Hi, my name is Laura Youngson and I'm the co-founder of Ida Sports. Ida Sports makes footwear fit specifically for female athletes and our unique biomechanics. One of the most common questions we get asked from parents, coaches, players, men or women is, are women's men's feet really that different? And the short answer is yes, but let's dive into some of the specifics. The main thing you should know is that there are anatomical differences between women's and men's feet. And a unisex cleat or athletic shoe doesn't work for all players and might even lead to pain and injury. Here are some of the key differences between men's and women's feet that might be important for female athletes to be aware of. Number one, women tend to have a wider toe box and narrow heel cut than men. So we have a different width to toe ratio, which means it's more of a triangular shape of our feet. If you're wearing unisex cleats, what that means for your toes is you get pinching in black toes. Or if you do find something that fits the heel, then maybe your heel pops out and you get blisters. By wearing something that's made for you, you're alleviating that problem. If you've ever felt this pain, then it might be time to try a women's specific fit that's more triangular. Number two, women tend to have higher arches than men. So this often results in wearing custom orthotics for shoes that are often too flat. A women's specific fit can support your arches and stop your ankle from collapsing inwards. Number three, women tend to have different pressure loads. And a common example of this is that women's hips are set slightly further apart. And this tends to trickle down through to your knees, your ankles and your feet. Your ergonomics literally start from the ground up. So it's really important that you find something that supports your traction and performance needs. If you or a female athlete you know are always complaining about your cleats hurting or the pain you're experiencing, then it might be time to try a women's specific fit. 